so hello guys welcome back to another new video in this video we are going to see how we can extract metadata from different types of files available so before getting into the actual implementation part let's first understand what metadata is and why it can be a very crucial part of our reconnaissance so metadata in simple words is the data which actually describes a particular type of data so in simple words we can also say that metadata tells us more about a particular type of data file so metadata can include a whole lot of information which can be very useful so let's see how we can extract this data and let's also explore what kind of information we can possibly retrieve from metadata so the tool which we are going to use to extract metadata is called exip tool so this tool is basically available on github here so i will provide the github link, a repository link so you can git clone from there and then you can use this tool or another method which is available to install this tool is through the repository so suppose uh, you are using kali linux so you can just uh, type apt get install exit tool and hit enter so this will basically install exit tool on your system if it is there in the repository of your distribution it will be get installed or else you can just uh, clone the repository from github and use it so uh, now let's see how we can use this tool so after we are done now with the installation part now we can proceed further to use the tool so using this tool is very very simple you just need to type exit tool on your terminal first let me clear the screen you need to type exit tool and then you need to specify the absolute path or the relative path to the file which we want to extract the metadata from so for instance i want to extract the metadata from a image file then i need to specify the path of the image file so that we can proceed further so i have the uh, test images inside a folder named test so i will go inside the folder named test now let's see what are the contents of this folder so here as you can see i have two image files and one document file and pdf file so we are going to see what kind of metadata is actually present in all these three types of files which are present here so these are the most common types of files which uh, we use in our day to day life so i have included these three mainly so that you can know what kind of metadata you should look for in these particular files and uh, rest of the files which from which the metadata can be extracted are all listed on the github repository of this tool so you can check out here and see what kind of metadata you can actually extract from these particular types of files so let's first uh, see how we can use the tool so here suppose i want to scan an image file which is image.jpg so here in terminal i will type exit tool and then i will type the name of the file because i am already inside the folder so i just need to type the name of the file here because i am already inside the folder so let's do this so i will just type image.jpg and now i just need to hit enter and i will be able to extract the metadata inside this particular image so let's hit enter and see what happens so here as you can see all the data which is inside the image is now extracted and we can check it out so let's first explore what are the information which we get from here so the first some of the fields which i can see are very basic fields so here the most important thing which i can see is the modification date time and the permissions which are allowed to this file so this file or this image was created at this particular time so this can be very useful and here you can see the camera model name or the device which clicked this image so here also this information can be very very useful if you are gathering some data about something 
here a uh, lot of others uh, stuff related to photography is listed like the focal length and exposure time this is all hardware stuff which which is all uh, included here so here the other very inform uh, useful information which we can possibly find inside uh, the image file is the gps location so basically nowadays the new devices actually store the gps location where the photo was clicked so here we have the gps location of that particular image so we can just go to google maps and then we can enter these uh, uh, coordinates there so these are basically coordinates if we enter these coordinates on google map we will be exactly be able to see where this photo was clicked so this can be very very dangerous and very useful uh, for uh, from an uh, hackers point of view so this information is very crucial as you can see this can reveal a lot about someone or the the person who clicked the image so this is about images so similarly we can also scan pdf files and document files so let's try the word document here so i will type the name as test.doc.docs and as soon as i hit enter so here yeah, you can see here uh, there is not much information as compared to images but still we can have some interesting information here so here uh, as you can see it shows uh, the creator's name of uh, the file so basically this field will include the name of the creator or the system name which created this particular document file so here as usual the last printed information is the time and date of creation and the software which was used was microsoft office word and there is other information like the app version which was uh, used to create this so basically microsoft office word version 14 was used to create this particular document file so similarly we can also check the pdf files using this tool so here also these type of informations are available so you can see that this pdf file is also generated by microsoft word so in word you can also save a file as a pdf file so this gives a, a very useful information that microsoft word 2010 that to, that to the trial version was being used so this is very uh, specific information we get here and rest is all same as the document so this is how you can extract metadata from images documents and pdfs and a lot of files which are listed on that github repository can be uh, used and uh, the metadata from these files can be extracted so basically this was all about exit tool uh, if you are in somehow in some cases uh, we cannot uh, use this exit tool or if you face any problem using this exit tool there is also an alternate solution to extracting metadata so the met, uh, alternative solution includes using these two particular online sites which also do the same work so the first site is exivinfo.org and the uh, second side is metadata to go so basically these two sites will also do the same work it will extract uh, as much as uh, metadata which is available in the file so this also works same as exit tool so if you cannot use the exit tool for some reason you can just go to these sites and then you can check the metadata there so that was it for metadata extraction thanks for watching